Let us see topic 2.6 Accuracy, Precision of Instruments and Errors in Instruments. Measurement is a useful tool of all experiments of science and technology. However, when we measure a physical quantity with the help of any measuring instrument, there is always some uncertainty in measurement. See, it's very obvious that measurement is a very important tool in all type of experiment, whether, whether it is of science or technology, whatever. We have to measure many, many physical quantities. But while measuring physical quantity with the help of some instrument, there remains some uncertainty always. For example, suppose you have measured a length of a pen with a scale, ordinary regular scale. So you say that the length of the scale is 10.2 centimeter. So I will ask you whether it is 10.2 exact or it can be 10.21 or it can be 10.19 so you cannot answer it because you don't know it because you have measured it with the scale and with the scale you can just measure up to 10.2 so there remains some uncertainty we are not certain that it is 10.2000 only or it is 10.21 or it is 10.19 that's why that uncertainty always remains. The uncertainty in measurement of an instrument is known as error. This uncertainty is known as error. Every fundamental quantity when measured contains error. In turn, every derived quantity which depends upon the measurement of fundamental quantity will also have error. That's very obvious. Fundamental quantity are to be measured. All the seven fundamental quantity or the base quantities are measurable. They are not constants. They are variables. So they can be measured. And all the derived quantities are based on the fundamental quantities. So if there is any error in the fundamental quantity, obviously there will be errors in the derived quantity also. Due to errors of measurement, the measured value of the physical quantity would show a deviation from its true value. That is also very obvious that due to error in measurement, there will be a deviation in the true value of the measurement of any physical quantity. For example, if we make an error while measuring the side of a cube, the volume that is V is equal to L cube will also have some error. See when you measure the length of a cube and if it is having some error then the volume that is V is equal to L cube will also have some error. Now while measuring physical quantities we often use two very well known terms that is accuracy and precision. Now what is this accuracy and precision? Accuracy of an instrument means how close the measurement value is to the true value of the physical quantity. Accuracy means how much the measured value is close to the true value. And the limit or the resolution to which a physical quantity is measured is known as precision. The limit or the resolution up to which the measurement has been done is known as precision. We will understand this with example. But before that, the least count of measuring instrument determines the precision. Smaller the least count, greater the precision. See, if the least count is very very small, then we can say the precision is very higher, very larger. Now, let us take one example to understand this. Suppose the true value of a length is 7.831 meter. Now, two persons A and B measure this length using different instruments. Remember, 
that the true value is 7.831 meter and two persons are measuring this with different instruments. The value measured by person A comes 7.7 .7 meter. See the true value is 7.831 and person A is measuring it 7.7 .7 meter. With a resolution of 0.1 meter and that by person B the answer comes 7.64 meter with a resolution of 0 0.01 meter. See person A is measuring 7.7. .7. So after this decimal up to one place he is measuring that means the resolution is 0 0.1 meter and person B measures 7.64 meter. So after decimal up to two place he is measuring the length that's why the resolution is 0 0.01 meter. Now it is very clear here that the true value is 7.831 and the first person is measuring 7.7. .7. Another is measuring 7.64. Here the value measured by person A is more closer to the true value so it is more accurate. Obviously this is true value and person A is measuring 7.7 .7, which is close to 7.8 where person B is measuring 7.64 which is quite far than 7.8. That's why the measurement of person A is more accurate. But the value measured by person B is having more resolution so it is more precise. See, the value measured by person B is having more resolution. The resolution is 0 0.01 meter. That's why it is more precise. This value is more accurate but less precise. This value is more precise but less accurate. Obviously, in measurement, we need both accuracy and precision both. We cannot select any one of them. We need both of them for any of the measurement. Here you should make one thing clear. I have written that the true value of the length is 7.831 meter. But the fact is there is no true value possible in measurement. I repeat there is no true value possible in measurement because measurement cannot be done without any error. Yes, measurement cannot be done without any error. For example, here as we have written that it is 7.831 meter. But we don't know whether it is 7.8319 or whether it is 7.8310. It matters a lot because when you say 7.8310, it is quite close to 7.831. But when you write 7.8319, then it is quite close to 7.832. So, when you have written this one, you don't know whether it is 0 after this one or whether it is 9 after this one. And both of that answers have a large difference between them. That's why this answer also cannot be considered as true value. Then the question comes what about then true value? Because obviously in practice we need some true value to compare different results whether that result is correct or not, whether that result is accurate or not, whether that result is precise or not. That's why we need some true value. There are some tricks to estimate the true value that we will see in next topics.